my baby. And ain't nothing better than coming home and seeing your favorite dog. You're my baby. You're my baby. Come on. You're my baby. And you're my baby. We are off to a super busy morning this morning, guys. I've already got started with our basin. See, our basin comes with one hole already pre-drilled in the side of it there. There's the pre-drilled one. Now, this one right here that I just created, I did that with just our side angle grinder. And now, uh, I don't think a lot of people know what I'm about to tell you, but I'm going to go get a drill out of the van to drill some holes in the bottom and sides of that basin because I learned the hard way years ago if you're installing those basins right there and you do not have any seep holes within that basin whenever all that water comes in there and goes to fill up your basin cavity right there it will float that entire basin up out of your basin cavity so you better pre-drill some seep holes guys and I'll talk to you again here in just a minute all right guys I want you to take a look and see at how this basin is completely solid minus the pre-drilled hole that was in that side and now of course the hole that I just made in there but what I'm getting ready to do is take this rigid drill with that 5 16 bit and I'm going to go from about here down and I'm just going to make some seep holes all the way around it and I'm also going to be drilling a few holes in the bottom and then I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I get finished up okay there's you a quick shot of the bottom notice how i've gotten holes all the way around and pretty much all the way across that entire circumference diameter area whatever you want to call it of that circle and now i'm about to do the exact same thing to these sides right here from about here down all the way around it and i'll talk to you in just a second can you see those holes guys let me get the camera a little closer for you look we've got them all the way around this thing and like I already told you now, in the bottom. So now, whenever that water comes and fills up that basin, and it's going to come, and it's going to fill that basin up, we don't want that bad boy right there getting floated plumb out of our system. Stay tuned. Had to run over here to Lowe's real quick, over here off Gun Barrel. Pick up some wood, not only for our crawl space door builds tomorrow in Knoxville, but also for another special little secret I'm going to share with all of you here just momentarily. You want to learn something? Stay with me. There ain't too many things much harder than trying to drag all of that rock throughout these crawl spaces. I mean, you're pulling that sled against wet, sticky mud. God, it gets heavier and heavier with each pass that you make to and from the crawl space entry. So what we're gonna be doing with these sheets of plywood that I just had cut at Lowe's is we're getting ready to make us a wooden road that makes dragging these rocks way 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 easier and it's going to be way less strenuous on our bodies because i know my buddy nico there's look like he needs a break <laughs> it's a little after three o'clock this afternoon guys and before i get any more progress made on that trench i want to go in here real quick and show all you guys exactly how we do all this fabric in the pipe so that all of you will quit asking me so come on if you want to see it so as we crawl in here and then we get on our little wooden road here I'm gonna go back here to the area that we're working right now. You'll see over here to my left that we've already got most of the rock in the trench, but look, you still see our fabric right there? See how we've got our flap? Look, 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 look. You see this flap right here? Look, let me open it up. Look here, down inside this, down in here somewhere is that four inch perforated pipe down there is a little bit of it. So look, we got all that buried. Let me back the camera up. Come on, get back in focus. Come on, get in focus. Okay. Get all that buried. Then you take your fabric here. You burrito all that together. You see all that's completely burrito now. All that. And look, once we're finished, it'll look like that right there. Well, hold up. Let me just show you where I've actually... I'm working back here. Uh, let me go under this. Uh, uh. Okay, look, let me turn the flash on here so you got some light. Look here. Okay, so you see the drainage fabric left. Notice I've gotten this to right there. And that's completed now all the way around, all the way over to the other side of the house. And as soon as we finish this last little bit, we got to continue making our way right down there towards the basin point. And once we get all that completed, 
This French drain will be completely finished minus all of our plumbing connections which we have to break away, like I said earlier, and head to Knoxville in the morning for my buddy Jacob. And I can't think of a better uh, stopping point or breaking point, I guess you'd like to call it, than getting all this rock and everything finished. So check it out. Looks like we're getting ready to pull a sled under here now. You got it loaded, Nick? I'm coming. So if you'll check it out guys, Nick's at the entry. He's loading three to four bags at a time here. And then we got Miss Muscles over here. Show them Miss Muscles. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Look at all them reps she's getting in. Oh yeah, 24 inch python, sister. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. And then we've got a maneuver under them pipes there that you see her just dragging it under. She's gotta go under one more. <laughs> And actually, that's where I'm supposed to be back there right now, waiting on her to hand me that rope. So let me get back in here in position, and maybe my hands will be uh, clean enough that I can show you guys a finished shot here in a few seconds. All right, guys, let me see if I can get into this pipe here. Oh, we're finished spreading these last few bags. Hopefully, these two bags that Missy just brought here will get us what I need. So check it out guys. You wanna know how all this rock gets spread? Just right here. And then you gotta wear your damn hands down to nothing. Spreading it barehanded. Cause you know I ain't got enough sense to wear a pair of gloves. And then brush your head on every joist. want to get this back as level as you can guys because you got to remember our 20 mil poly is going to be going down over this and as you can see here we've still got to remove all of this excess mud out of here but once again our main focus right now is getting this friggin trench line finished god almighty getting close to five o'clock guys all three of us are beat and uh i'll take you under here with me real quick and show all of you what this is looking like now that we got this damn French drain line finished. I'm just going to sit right here and show you. Look at this. And now as you make your way around the inside perimeter of the crawl space, look how nice and level all three of us have gotten all of this. Notice how now you don't see any more of our drainage fabric. And right here is our basin. And notice, I still have to trim them off and clean out the rocks. But look, here's the pipe that's running all the way around this side of the crawl space, you know, coming back to here. And then as that same pipe makes its way all the way around that crawl space, all the way back down to here, it comes back into our sump pump basin right here. Once again, I've still got to trim these off there, there. We've got to get our sump pump installed and plumbed in. And once all that is complete, we will be able to, well, we still got to get a little bit of dirt out of here, I see. We got to get that done, get that dirt out of here, and then we'll be able to start laying our new six mil ground barrier, which will be followed by our famous signature series, 20 mil, baby, crawl space encapsulation service. Stay tuned to see what this project looks like here whenever we finish up. If you weren't paying attention earlier, just know we got to break away tomorrow and head up and take care of my buddy Jacob up in Knoxville. Hopefully, to goodness, we'll get that thing done in one day. But either way, guys, I appreciate your time. Thank you for joining me in another video. And I can't wait to talk to each and every single one of you inside that next video. My baby. And ain't nothing better than coming home and seeing your favorite dog. You're my baby. You're my baby. Come on. You're my baby. And you're my baby. And guys, that's what it's like, son, being Tanner Flowers. Yeah, we ain't got no normal dog. That's a Chinese dog, ain't it? Mm, get my little Chinese baby. I hope it ain't got COVID. God almighty. Get home from work, guys.
quickly greeted by all my dogs. This here is a full-blooded Rottweiler. What are you doing, my baby? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Get my baby. Yeah. When I got this dog, it had the mange. We was worried it might have rabies, but it don't. <laughs> my pre-bird. Pre-bird.